and he sent me his photo of its of his rock collection. Hmm. One of these doesn't look like a rock. Hi, I'm Kerry C. I'm a geologist and I've been practicing geology for over 40 years, studying earthquakes mostly. The fact that licking rocks is a credible field test makes me wonder if geology really is just a pseudoscience. If we have a clear colored rock and we don't know whether it's quartz or whether it's salt, probably we can use our tongue to tell which it is. If they pumped all the oil out of the ground, the tectonics plates would slide around less and there'd be fewer earthquakes. I recommend that you take a beginner's class in geology here at my university or the one nearest you to learn the real reason that tectonic plates are sliding around. I'm taking a history of rock. Sick dude, is your teacher like a geologist or something? <laughs> is this what I'm looking into the eyes of when I give my lectures? <laughs> I think I just discovered a petrified cinnamon roll in my backyard. Really no clue how this formed. It appears to be rock, not concrete. The mysteries of geology. I think you may have just picked up a coprolite, actually, which is a piece of fossilized poop. Not sure. Would have to do tests, not with my tongue. I'm going to college by the end of this month. Is majoring in geology a good idea? As long as you have a, a job in geology, or any other field for that matter, that you can do what you really like doing, I think that's the key really. Welcome to the world of geologists, hopefully in four years.